What is going on, Puck Nation? And today, I'm fulfilling my New Year's resolution. Today, by the time you see this video, it will already be 2020. So, probably going to aim for no later than the 4th. Hopefully. It depends on how my scheduling goes. But today is the 31st. It is New Year's Eve, 8.51 p.m. So, this entire block list I've went through, and I have zero problems with anybody there might be no exceptions here so i know this dude where did he go where'd he go this guy right here this thomas dude literally just got blocked like two days ago so man you got the lucky dog here you got the lucky pass as they do in nascar so what i'm gonna say for all these people i'm gonna give a good scroll down if you see your name if you fuck up three or four days after this video, that's on you. So, once I remove this block, you have one chance. You need to answer the questions truthfully. You don't need to just be like, oh, I'm not going to answer these questions. Because I still have the right to deny you guys. What I'm giving you the second chance of is answering those questions and your profile looks legit. So, there's a little catch here, you know. It's not just, oh, I get a free pass into the group. You have to be legit. So, and I'm hoping that other groups follow suit. I know I called out a couple groups to get their attention. And by me doing this, I'm the owner of Backstreet Boys Modding Group. You may hate me, you may not. It doesn't matter. I'm a Facebook group. I'm a farming simulator group. If I start to do it, hopefully everybody else starts to follow suit. So, hopefully within the next two months, everybody is clean of their block list, and we can start being a better community. So, here's the bottom of the list. You look over to the right. Look, my bar is at the end. There is nothing left. Fisher, you are the last one. I don't know why you got blocked, but... <laughs> It's all good, so let's just start from the top and start cruising away. Oh, this guy, this Logan guy, I have no issues with him. I know he tried starting a lot of fights, but I know when to walk away from situations. A lot of these people are gone. I think Andrew Bridgeford is gone. I don't. I haven't seen nothing of him. Will Nice probably haven't seen nothing of him. So there's no grudges. Everything's gone. I like I said in my in that video with Lambo. Stress will kill you. Now it's not gonna literally put you on your deathbed, but it's gonna literally rot your skull away. It will literally terrify you. And literally just be a possess and just sit there and make you angry all the time. Billy Taylor, that's a hard one to put away. But keeping my word, I hope everybody can respect it. I think it looks like Matthew Riley is done because his name is White. So I think the account has been deleted. There was a lot of people blocked. Over 300 people, guys. Like, if I have 300 people, it, I don't even want to know what some of those top Facebook pages have. Like, Expandable Modding and um, Anarchy is supposed to have none. That's supposed to be a free place to um, speak what you want. You know, you want to say what you want to say, basically. This is going to be fun. The group's been doing awesome. We're at 2,700 or 2,700 people doing pretty good, you know. We're a nice, quiet group. If you want to post, you can post, but you're not going to be bombarded by the jackasses. And that, by clearing all this block list, this is me truly saying sorry to people that are really jealous of my success, really take my humor the wrong way, because you're schooled. So, if you're jealous of my success on YouTube, 
you're being jealous to the wrong person. Nobody needs to be jealous of my success. I'm just a nice YouTuber. I get the subscribers that I deserve, you know. If I put nice content out there, I hope I get what I deserve. Now, there's some people like Garrett Plays that's a little sensitive with his uh, subscribers and what people think. So, that's the person to be jealous upon. That's the person to get right underneath his skin and just get him to actually be aggravated. And I don't think people have realized, I don't give a crap what you say about my group or what you think of me because there's so many people in this world, opinions are going to bounce off of each other, people are going to have mixed opinions. So, let's all grow up and be a man or a woman. If, you know, we do have some girls that do play, so... A lot of this is fake accounts, which... I can just reblock if they try to join, which... Let's, let's think about this. To get a second chance, true second chance, you actually are passionate about a second chance. You need to answer the questions truthfully and fully. Take your time. I'll let you answer the questions. I won't deny you. And make sure your profile looks legit. I've had my profile since 2010 at the max, I think it was. So I'm pretty legit on my profile. I may not have all the snappy pictures like everybody else does, but I just don't want to post a lot of things on Facebook. And people like, let's take a pause here. Where is he? Because this guy right here, Cole um, Carter, he has two fake accounts. Like, name the same exact name like seriously dude that's probably why you got blocked you didn't get blocked because of your attitude you got blocked because you were simply just being making all fake accounts and I know everybody's gonna say are you gonna unblock Ben Waddler and I'm gonna say yes I know this dude has been going around and trying to sneak through groups but give the man a chance that's the biggest guy in the farming center group you want to give a chance. If you can't give him a chance, then don't waste your time removing 300 or whatever people you have. And some of these, these were blocked by my other admin. So if you had a problem with them, they're, everything's being cleared because... None of my admin do anything anymore, so I don't even know why I have admin at this point. I just run it myself. But from here on out, we are in a brand new decade, guys. Ten years in the making. Let's start her off her right. Let's remove all the drama, remove all the attitudes and let's just be the community we was in FS15. I should have joined more of the community in FS15, but I chose not to, and I kind of wish I stuck with that. It would be nice if Facebook put an all remove block. This would be so much nicer. Now this unavailable tab, that is um, what people like to call blocking admins. Which that's totally on those people. But I'm starting my New Year's resolution off right. But like I said, if you do something stupid in my group, you start bashing me in any other way, you're out immediately. No warning shots. No nothing. But at least you can get a second chance. 
And to all the people that have been blocked for two or three years, there was nothing said about you badly in this group. I've seen other groups where they talk people like shit behind their backs. I'm not the type of guy that does that. That's why you hear me call a lot of people out on this YouTube page. Because everybody has access to the YouTube page. If you like it or not, everybody has access. It's not behind closed doors like Expandables Modding or any of those groups. HD Modding, Lambo Mods. It is a open face page that everybody has access to. I can't physically block any person from viewing my channel. YouTube doesn't give us that power. And it's probably a good thing for some people. So, I want everybody to be respectful from here on out. I scroll through all the names. We're down about 100 people already, so this shouldn't take too, too long. And we're just flipping through all these people. Oh, this guy. If anybody knows this, this is Super Duty Modding. Probably one of the most people that has screwed me over in the whole YouTube career so far. Worse than Duramax Nation. Worse than Cody Irvin. Like, that dude has screwed me over the worst. Billy Taylor was a nuisance to society, and he didn't realize what society was trying to tell him. But Super Duty Modding, oh, that was a shit show. As I look through this block list, I don't even know why half of these people were blocked. You probably just got me on a bad day, which I'm pretty sure why everybody gets blocked through these groups is people just rub against people on their bad day very wrong. And I'm also going to say, let's keep going on that topic. If you have a bad day, people, like, doesn't matter what your age, please stay away from the Facebook groups that you own. Maybe just walk away for a day. Don't get aggravated by someone's little comments. That's what I do. If I have a rough day at work, I just stay the hell away from my Facebook group. So that everybody has a fair shot of staying in. Alright, 186 more to go. This is it's not really that bad, honestly. Doesn't even feel like 300 some people. Feels more like a hundred, at least. So I hope everybody can respect my wishes. I was thinking the other day, what could I do to make the world a better place and also fulfill a really awesome New Year's resolution? And I came up with this. Well, I was recording with Lambo Mods. It just seemed really good and really in the moment that it was perfect. So, all the bashing, all the name calling, all the saying of you can't speak, all that stuff, drop it completely from your mouths. Some of these guys that have bashed me personally and other people 
are in their 40s or even their 30s. They're over the age of 20. Let's just put it that way. So you're getting all this hate from way older people. Like, come on, bro. Like, look, seriously, you have your own kid and you're literally getting blocked from Facebook groups. Like, seriously. This is just sad to be unblocking everybody because of how disrespectful they've actually been. And we have another fake account. Don't remember blocking this guy. Probably with somebody else. So if my other admins decide to actually work and do their job in 2020, uh, just be ready for them to block you if anything goes down. So your second chance will start as soon as you get in the group. Yeah, it's getting a lot shorter. That was the end. So let's keep on going. We made it this far. But I hope you guys have been enjoying all the multiplayer videos. Um, probably, yeah, there's a bunch of videos that we got recorded. And I'm up in recordings up until probably mid January so but you gotta also realize that's just Tuesday Thursday and Saturday so it's pretty easy to make videos so if anybody needs help with YouTube partnerships I'm willing to help people I just uh, started helping this one guy I will announce it in my next video that gets posted obviously I am three or four weeks out so new videos will take a little while but kind of want to get out a little bit because work is being really stressful after the holidays um yeah it's a little stressful just trying to get back in the routine of just three to four hours to get 77,000 packages through instead of having 100,000 and then having six to seven hours to do it and waiting on trailers and having downtime and it's a little bit of a change. So I will try to get this out um, within two or three days of the first because the first is when you guys will actually see the video. And if you guys watch that far into that video, you'll actually see my New Year's resolution. But I marked it on the title so you guys know to watch until the end. Like Probably the best thing to do with my videos is to watch to the end because they are starting to get really interesting. Especially with all the conversations. We just did that American Truck Simulator video. And that was amazing. It might have been an hour long video. But it was pretty awesome. Coming into that guy's two fake profiles. I'm very thankful I only had 300 to do. I can't imagine what some other people have to do. But you know that's your choice. This is Duramax's account, for anybody who wants to know that. Caleb Hensley. Alright, we're down to 97 people. Holy crap. 
So if I caught 349 people, can't imagine what other people have caught. And truly, to be a lot of those people that I just got rid of, I kind of just got rid of them, but not really blocked them, so that the block list didn't look so big. So you probably got the lucky dog and just got denied, or just simply kicked, but not blocked. And I got lucky, too, on some of the groups. And that's what I might do. If I give you a second chance, I might just simply deny you or like kick you, but you're not actually on this list. This list is for the truly bad people that just cannot behave themselves. Alright, we're getting down. We're in the 70s now. Hope you guys are still staying with me. But like I said at the beginning, out of these 300 and some people we had to start with, 300 some, I have no issues with anymore. I didn't even have issues probably a week after the whole situation with any of these people. I don't hold grudges anymore. That's why I release them on my YouTube channel and then it gets it off my chest. And I probably encourage a lot of people to do that. Don't hold anything on your chest. Just get it off. If you're truly mad at somebody, finish it. Finish the argument completely. Finish the grudge. Finish the little side conversations about you. Oh, Peyton. This one is a tough one. Because you messed with my money, sir. And for people that don't realize, when you mess with my money, I become a dangerous pit bull when it comes to that. Being very rude to somebody that is paying for a Patreon. Oh, yeah. Alright, we're down to about 47 people. Lamar, ooh, this dude. Very interesting person. Especially how much attitude he has to go for his little body. As my mom would say, you don't have the ass to back up your mouth. And a lot of these people, this guy, don't even have anything to do with Farming Simulator. A lot of these people are like, Oh yeah, I know the Back Boy song. Do you not see the modding part? Like, look. And that's probably why my block list was really full. And there's Cody. Speak of the devil as he comes up through the block list. Gosh, if you've been sitting at the bottom, you've probably been blocked like two or three years ago, which is actually true for him. He decided to leave me for no apparent reason because he was just following Duramax Nations because apparently Duramax had a problem with me, but it was so fake. Ooh, Austin Walker. Hmm. One thing I will never do is, let's say I hang out with a group of people. Oh, this person is really tough. This guy is a stalker on Facebook. Truly a stalker. 
But it goes to show, if you're in a little group of people like the Remax team is, so that's Duramax Nation, Cody, Urban, Blake, McLean, um, fuck, I can't remember all their names, but Van Moore probably hangs out with them. It goes to show, if you have a problem with one person in the group, why would you all follow suit to leave them? Ooh, Derek. The owner of Expandables Modding. Ooh. I'm going to be the bigger man and unblock him. Look, guys. Click that blue. Oh, look. Unblocked. Don't even see him in the list. Because if I hit cancel, the name stays at the top. Look who's the bigger man. Derek. I am. And I'm only 22. And you're 30-some? And you're still having a grudge on me? Whew. That looks way bad on you, brother. Nine to go, people. If you guys have stuck around to this part of the video thank you guys you guys are the OG subs or you're just one of the people that wants to see your name remove the block West Phil land oh this guy made up the most bullshitting story to get me mad I don't know where he's just like oh he turned as a devil he doesn't care about me and I'm like what you saying dog what you smoking down to three people. And the Backstreet Boys modding group will have nobody blocked. Until somebody strikes after this video. The block list is clean. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys found it interesting. I'm doing the right thing. I hope everybody follows suit. So it takes one person to start the trend. And I am gonna start the trend i'm only doing my group personally because i own this group i run i manage lambo mods thin line modding but i'm just a moderator so it's out of my power to choose so i'm taking the big step i'm being a bigger man than everybody else in this community so put your little hate down put your little arguments down and just do the right thing. This is a brand new decade. 10 years in the making. So we haven't crusted a brand new decade since 2010. So let's do it right people. We'll see you guys on the other side of this video. Peace.